So first of all, let me explain in a few words what are sessions and cookies. Uh, they are a possibility, they gives you possibility uh, to store information in the user browser or on the server side. So both of them has like a similar purpose. Uh, they give you possibility to put something uh, about the user and then when you navigate between pages, that information will be there so you can identify the user who it is. Uh, the difference between them is that cookies store the information in the in the browser. However, sessions store the information on the server side. Okay, and when the session is created and that information is saved on the server side, it creates a unique session ID and writes that session ID in the cookie. And based on the session ID, which is exchanged in every request and response, the server can understand who the uh, browser is and that's uh, that gives the possibility to associate that data saved to that particular user based on the session ID okay so session ID is like a unique identifier of the uh, connection between browser and the uh, server session okay so let's start creating uh, uh, let's start working with the sessions okay so let's create um, let me do one thing first so in the in the application right now there is session id so let me delete this so when i open right now the page and refresh it my cookies are absolutely empty okay so there is no information and uh, of course on every request which we can see in the network uh, all requests so all information is sent to the uh, server but as far as cookies are absolutely empty, nothing is sent regarding cookies, okay? So let's start session. Okay, for, for to start a session, we need to call method uh, session underscore start, okay? So that will create the uh, unique session ID and we'll save it in the cookies, okay? So let's reload the page and here it is. So we are, here I see PHP sesh ID. And if we observe right now the request, okay, uh, let's have a look in the request data. Let's reload the page one more time. Have a look in the request data. And here we should see cookies. Where it is? Here we have a look at the cookies. Okay, so these are request cookies. That's, that is sent always when the request is made from the browser to the server. And that uh, session is already created on the server in Apache is one of the folders. And uh, now if we associate data to that particular session based on the session ID, the data will be associated to that browser, to that client. Okay, so we can print that session ID um, in the in the browser also. Okay, session underscore ID. Okay, let's print this in the browser, and here we see. So one important note is you should and you must start your session before you have any any HTML code. Okay, well, we are doing this in a proper place right now, and let's associate something let's write something in the session okay so for this we need to use super global dollar sign underscore in the session okay so um let's check if uh let's make a page counter okay so let's count how many times we visited the page okay so let's check if inside the session there exists counter okay uh then we need to increase the counter if it doesn't exist then we need to set it to one. Okay, so if it exists, let's increase the counter and let's use here is set function to check the existence. Uh, if it doesn't exist, let's set it to one. Okay, and let's output this in the page. Okay, inside h1, you have visited page um, blah blah times. Okay, so let's use here php text session counter well, let's collapse the left side counter times cool okay so you have visited page uh, echo is missing right here 
uh, two times. When we refresh, we visit page three times, four times. So if we come right here, go to the application and delete that session ID, uh, that will basically lose any connection from browser to the server. And when we refresh the page, the session ID will be new. And thus, this means that we visit the page first time because that is new session. Okay, that is not associated with the previous one. So, and we can refresh a couple of times and we see how many times we visited the page, okay? So, that is uh, that is basically all about the sessions, okay? So, we can go ahead and make this code a little bit simpler. Take that uh, session counter and do just like this. So, session counter, if it exists, uh, we can make it uh, just just like this so if it exists we can leave it what it is if it doesn't exist we can set it to zero and then we can always increase it okay just like this and we don't want that code okay so this is really elegant code and it does the same thing the exact same thing so even if we delete that cookie and refresh it it works fine okay so let's move on and see uh, how we can create cookies okay so cookies, as I said, is a it's a piece of data that is stored in the user's browser. Okay, and cookies mainly are used for three different purposes. So the main reason is session management, and this is the example I just showed to you. So cookies save the uh, information about the session, okay, session ID, and that's the main thing. Based on the session, uh, the server can understand who the uh, who the browser is. Okay, in all the browsers, when cookies were not uh, enabled, uh, then the session ID was uh, displayed in the URL. Okay, we, we need that session ID in any case to pass from browser to the server so that the server knows who we are. Okay, without that session ID, just authentication would not be possible. Okay, so session management is the first thing cookies are used for. Uh, second reason is personalization. Okay, so for example, when you uh, when you open Amazon website and you are not logged in and you start browsing and you like the, for example, uh, new Galaxy S20 phone and you are looking at it. So, and you just look a couple of phones, just close the browser. And next time when you open the browser, even though you are not logged in, it starts suggesting you that Galaxy S20 phones okay so that's because the information is saved in the cookies and then the server can understand that you are the previous user who actually like was interested in the cookies in the uh, S20 phones excuse me and now it starts suggesting these things and the third reason is tracking okay so Google Analytics for example is the best example uh, that's a platform which gives you a possibility to now monitor how many times your pages are visited um, and how users basically engage on your on your website and how they navigate which pages they see more which article is the most popular on your on your blog and etc etc okay so this is another reason why cookies are useful and uh, so yeah let's start uh, actually like writing creating cookies the uh, only limitation cookies has is that it can uh, occupy four kilobytes and cookies are not best suited for saving sensitive information because they that can be hacked by the hackers okay they are best suited for like a personalization and tracking and things like that okay or session id if you want to save some secure data like username or id user id that's probably should be saved in the sessions not in the cookies okay so let's create cookies so i'm going to use a set cookie function i'm going to give a key which will be a name and i'm going to give the value the code holic okay these are the uh, keys and values and we also need to give the time okay so when the cookie must be expired every cookie has its expire date and let's give it time and uh, the expire date must be set from the current time okay so we give, we give right here time plus 60 which means that cookies will expire in 60 seconds and we have a couple of more options and one of them is the path on which path we want to save the cookies and i'm going to say it on the root path okay so i'm gonna save this and let's open cookies htm not html but php 
and here we have semicolon missing okay so here it is in in the cookies we see name is the code holic okay so and then i can go ahead and print what is saved in the cookies let's print using uh var dump okay so in the cookies i have a php session id and i have name okay and i can take that information and do whatever i want um, if I want to modify my cookie, I need to change the name from, uh, if I want to modify the cookie, I just need to call the same function, but uh, with a different uh, value, okay? So like, not the code holy, but just Zura, okay? So the name is Zura, we refresh the page, and we see in the cookie's name is Zura. Uh, if I want to delete the cookie, I need to set the time negative value, okay? So time minus something. Okay, no matter what it is and uh, that will simply delete the cookie and I don't see uh, this uh, cookie field anymore the thing is that uh, in the vardom statement uh, the name is still printed Zura that's because first it prints the cookies and then sends the cookies back to the browser okay so when the cookies are sent back to the browser then it doesn't include that name anymore because it was deleted but it first prints and then sends the cookies to the browser okay after printing then the response is sent to the browser okay so that's all about cookies and sessions and let's move on and see how we can upload files in php